Hello, hello, Mikile, hello, Daniel. So it seems uh, we are at the end of uh, the last performance. Um, let's see what Mikele and Daniel will tell us about it as soon as they join. The Jitsi are back. Hello, hello. Hello, greetings. Yeah, greetings to you. Uh, thank you very much for this uh, last performance. Um, Thanks for the opportunity. Oh, yeah, of course, this is, uh, <coughs> we are very glad to, to do it, of course. Unfortunately, we're not able to be here in flesh, but uh, anyway, this is the thing we have to do for now, and it's uh, pretty good anyway. So, uh, uh, I must say, the guys behind the desk uh, really liked your performance. Uh, <laughs> I guess the, you, the, the one uh, really striking thing about it is the uh, synchronization between the visuals and the sound, which is always there. And it creates this kind of synesthetic experience. So, uh, can you tell us a little bit about this, uh, uh, it's like, uh, on the other hand, it's like a head-to-head -head, uh, double-decker <laughs> thing, <laughs> two people doing the same thing at once. Yes, that, that's kind of it. You want to talk about it, Daniel? Or who's, uh... Uh, well, I mean, can you hear me over the... Yeah, over... yeah. How, how's it's the audio quality? Okay, nice. Okay. Okay. It's very nice. So, uh, yeah, I will just say maybe one part, and then you can say the yeah, second that's, part. Yeah, let's split it up as then. usual. Yeah. So, um, yeah, the synchronicity is, um, uh, well, let's say it this way. We are using a wave terrain synthesis, but a visual approach to it, or, or like a, an audio visual approach to it. So uh, the grayscale uh, visuals that you could see, um, well, you could say beneath the... Um, the, tra the trajectories is the visualization of the wave terrain. So the values of the, uh, the the different gray values are actually the heights of the terrain on the different places. So it's like and the trajectory, oh, like right. a surface of a rough sea, so to speak. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Yes, yes. Yeah. And I mean, f for for those of of you who are not familiar with with wave terrain synthesis, maybe you're familiar with wavetable synthesis. Mm -hmm. Uh, where you have, um, you know, a chunk of audio basically, and you're reading this chunk of audio co continuously. It's basically a buffer for an oscillator. Yeah. And that's usually called a wave table. And the wave terrain is the same thing. You just add another dimension. And mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the nice thing about this is that you could visualize this as a, you know, as a matrix, as a two-dimensional yeah, matrix. That's a very nice picture. And um, you know, we were thinking about. Uh, I mean, there's two things we're kind of trying to, to, to explore in this project. One thing is uh, different coupling methods between uh, audio and visuals, and especially, you know, a main point for us is trying to think about, um, well, we're using a computer, uh, but we're also musicians, you know, playing acoustic instruments and so on. So mm -hmm. it's kind of like trying to find a reason why to use the computer in the first place, or what, what makes it interesting for us. And um, one thing is that on a certain layer, you're dealing with data anyways. So you have these possibilities to branch out into different media, so to say, uh, because the underlying data kind of mm -hmm. uh, ground, you know, the algorithms could like be the, the same, score. so to speak, yes. And, uh, and and that's one thing we're trying to explore. And, and we thought, you know, since wave terrain synthesis kind of already have this, uh, this idea of visualization of the synthesis process mm -hmm. in itself, you know, we, we maybe try to use this. And the other thing is like collaborating. Um, and we didn't really want to go into a direction, uh, you know, which is totally fine, like um, that resembles a more classic kind of, you know, band setting where you're mm -hmm. saying, you know, I'm, I'm doing the bass, you're doing the chords or whatever. We have yeah. two. There's a drummer streets. and a singer and some other people. Some, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, and we wanted to kind of try to, to have a setup that would uh, allow us to have a different kind of communication. And since this, you know, wavetable synthesis or wave terrain synthesis, there's kind of two components to the synthesis model. You know, mm -hmm. one is like 
you need to generate the data, mm -hmm. the audio data, so to speak. And then the other thing is you have to read the audio data. And and, and we thought, you know, well, like that could be an interesting and approach. The trajectory. Exactly. And so we were basically like, you know, controlling two parts of, of the same instrument. And that's how we mm -hmm. built this, this setup. And, and the visuals are, you know, I'm, I'm coding the, the shaders. So the grayscale uh, image, it's actually GLSL shaders running in the background. And the trajectories and the audio um, engine is super collider. So Daniel is doing yeah. the trajectories. He's reading mm -hmm. the thing. And it's almost like uh, X, Y uh, kind of synthesis. Yeah, like a, like a two-dimensional two buffer. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Okay. Yes. okay, guys, let me tell you, it's working very well. What no, thank you're you. doing. Uh, congratulations and thank Thanks. you uh, for being uh, having the patience to be the last performers. In, oh uh, no, it's, it's our pleasure. You tonight, know, we, we had enough beer. Evening. We had enough beers already, so it's well, working fun. The, the beer is working also. It seems yes, yeah. also on our side. <laughs> The beer is already great. working. So uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Hope to thank see you. you at some other uh, opportunity. And uh, thanks. Thanks. Thank you very much. Cheers.